Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to gain access to and kill ravenous hunger from the cults of Tibia Quest. We'll be starting at Abdendrio Boat and traveling by the lift system to reach the cave faster. You can take the lift from the boat to the central platform at Abdendrio, then take the lift at the northern part of the central platform to take you to the coast. After you take this lift, there's an area just to the north where you can levitate down. Continue to the north and you'll need either a secret agent tool or machete to cut the jungle grass and find the hole to enter the cave. Once you drop down the hole, follow my path of the cave until you find a mystic flame and enter it. To the west you find an NPC named Tigo that you have to ask for a mission from to continue through the quest door. Go through the quest door, then exit the building to the north and follow it to the end to go up the rope hole. Note that you will need a secret agent tool or pick to reveal the hole to get back down, so be careful not to get trapped. In this area, there will be many Barkless devotees and Barkless fanatics. There are several trials to pass to gain access to the ravenous hunger. First, you must complete the tar trial. Going to the north, then following the east path will lead you to the tar area. Head all the way to the southern part of this area where you will find a special tile. You don't want to step on this yet, you want to wait for the proper message. Once you see the message, the heat is now unbearable, the blood in your body feels like lava, there's almost no strength left in you, act quickly. You must step on the tar tile. You will receive the message, embrace the stigma of bad fortune. The tar does not feel so hot anymore, you passed the tar trial. Once you receive this message, you must run to the north to find another special tile to step on. You only have limited time to do this. If you make it in time, you will receive the message. You are now ready to prove your worth. Take heart and cross the threshold of tar. If you are too slow, you will get the message. The tar covering has cooled down and fell off for the most part. Your body is not heated up anymore. This means you have to go back to the first tile and try again. If you're doing this solo, it can be difficult to make it there in time as the Barkless cults can block you on the bridge and the narrow pathways. Depending on your level, you most likely won't have time to kill all of the Barkless cults on the way, so you'll have to run by them. If you have someone helping you, they can keep the way clear to make your run easier. The next trial is the Sulfur Trial. This can be found in the southwestern part of the cave. This trial works the same way as the Tar Trial. Here, you must wait for the message. The acid burning is now unbearable. Your skin feels like a sieve. There's almost no strength left in you. Act quickly. Then, you will step on the sulfur tile and receive the message, Embrace the stigma of vanity. The sulfur does not burn your skin anymore. You pass the trial. You then follow the path to the south to find the other sulfur tile and step on it. If you're quick enough, you receive the message, you're now ready to prove your worth. Take heart and cross the threshold of sulfur, which means you were successful. After completing both trials, you will be able to pass over the path in the middle of the cave to the ice trial, which works the same way as the others. You wait in this area until you receive the message. The icy cold is grasping to you. You can barely move anymore. Then, you step on the small bridge. You will receive the message. You are now washed and ready to purify yourself in the chamber of purification. Go to the west and follow the path south to find an energy gate. Step on this gate and your character will die, but you will not lose anything. Now, you must return to find 10 Barkless Cult symbols located on walls around the cave. The first is located next to the Mystic Flame, while the second is located in the building after the NPC Tigo. You will then find three symbols in the area where the trials were completed. One in the room where we had to run to complete the tar trial, another in the northeastern part of the ice area, and the last in the passage on the west side of this area. The last five symbols are to the east of the rope spot that takes you up to the Barkless area. You could not enter this area previously, but are able to now. Once you have found all 10 symbols, you head to the northern room in this new building where you will use the cult object in the center of the room. You receive a message. As you reach out to touch the cult object, a surge of energy bursts from the skull. You banished its power. You now have access to the boss. This boss can be soloed under level 400 with a bit of difficulty, but it will be an easy kill if you have a team. Having more players seems to make the first phase go quicker, but a full team is not necessary. The more players you have though, the quicker it will be. During the first phase, you must defeat Leiden. I would make sure to wear a dwarven ring for this phase. When you enter the room, run to the north and place fire bombs. These serve two purposes. It will keep the Barkless fanatics away that are summoned by Leiden, as well as help us with the mechanic to defeat him. Leiden cannot be damaged by normal attacks. Any damage done will actually heal the boss. The boss can be damaged by healing though. So if you have some mages in your team, they can UH the boss or use Mass Rest for additional damage. The regular mechanic damage Leiden is to attack the wine cast that is found in the northernmost part of the room. Eventually, this will summon a liquor spirit. 
Damaging the liquor spirit will cause it to cast an AoE spell around it that will do around 2000 drowned damage to Leiden each time it is cast. After a few seconds, it will disappear and have to target the wine cast again. It isn't known how this works exactly, but sometimes the liquor spirit will only do a few AoEs before it disappears, and sometimes you can defeat Leiden using only one or two liquor spirits total. It seems to be based not on how much damage is done to it, but how frequently it takes damage. Running it over the fire field seems to help it trigger more attacks. Also, I noticed that keeping it moving seems to keep it around longer, but this could also be related to the fire fields. If it ever teleports to a player and is left standing still, it seems to disappear pretty quickly. We will have to repeat this liquor spirit mechanic until Leiden has been defeated and we move on to phase 2. Phase 2 will summon the ravenous hunger. The general strategy for this phase is for the blocker to trap the boss by the teleport. The boss will regularly summon 4 mutated bats at once and do a lot of life drain damage. You'll want to avoid grouping up too many people around the blocker as the boss can chain life drain attacks and heal a lot of health. Shooters should position themselves to the west if possible. Other than that, this phase is straightforward. Just keep damaging the boss until it is defeated. Ravenous Hunger is immune to both death and earth damage, so avoid these. Ravenous Hunger is in the Archfoe category, which means you will get 100 boss points total for 60 kills. This boss drops Elven Mail, which can be worth a few million gold on most servers. If you aren't doing other bosses, this may be worth the boss slot if you are trying for Elven Mail. Other than that, there isn't any other great loot except silver and gold tokens. Hopefully, this video helps unlock Ravenous Hunger in your boss, Jerry. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, happy hunting!